Satellite 6 in action radar, and we can see a couple of clouds start to move through the region as we see them stream in. And the snow showers that were in western Pennsylvania dying off, but we're seeing some light flurries or showers around and a little light flurry there as we talked about in Baltimore. But as we take a wider look, not a whole lot happening. We're not talking about some big storm system that's brewing up, but a disturbance that could bring us a flurries around, even adding up to a coating in most of the places. One or two parts of our region may see up to an inch, but not much snow out of this. Future Tracker 6 showing some snow showers moving through at about 7 o'clock, so we could see a flurry at any point, but watching later in the evening for these snow showers to push through. It's already in and out of the city by 8.30 and then off the coastline, so enough to leave a dusting or a coating through much of the region. Look at this temperature, 37 degrees for your high with these afternoon or evening snow showers that could leave a little bit of a coating, but then tomorrow you get that Arctic invasion in the high temperature, just 26 degrees despite clouds and sunshine. So the coldest air we've seen in two years. Your AccuWeather seven day forecast showing that cold today on this day of service. If you're heading out 37 degrees, it's a lot better than it will be the rest of the week at least with some snow showers around late in the day. Tomorrow, the coldest temperature so far this year, 26 degrees for your high, 16 for the low. It's even colder on Wednesday, 24 for the high. The overnight lows just in the teens. Thursday, it's staying cold, 27 degrees. Friday, we're anticipating a wintry mix late in the day. So you make it a period of snow or ice. It's a little ways off, so we still have to watch that. It's not looking like much accumulation wise at this point, but just something we're watching for your travel. Saturday, it's windy and colder in 28. Sunday, mostly sunny skies and 32 degrees. So as you look at the temperatures, you see us saying far below average and just up in the freezer, literally below freezing most of the time. And when you look at those overnight lows in the teens, remember those early bus stops. It'll be the teens in the city, but it'll be even colder than that in the suburbs. Yeah, yeah. if you're working out there too, you yeah. got oh, to bundle up. For Thank sure. you, Karen.